Hey everyone, welcome to Buick Outdoors. If you're new around here, my name is Sheldon Marion and today we're out here in Hudson Hope area and we're going to be going to the Six Peaks Dinosaur Trackway site. To get to Six Peaks track site from Hudson Hope, we travel north on Canyon Drive to the WAC Bennett Dam. We cross the dam and stayed on the main road called Utah Road. After traveling roughly six and a half kilometers, you'll get to the intersection of Utah Road and the Table Road. Turn left onto the Table Road and continue on the Table Road to intersect with the Johnson Creek Road, which is roughly 2.3 kilometers. Turn right onto the Johnson Creek Road and travel to the mile marker 71, approximately 25 kilometers, and turn left. Go another 2.4 kilometers and the trailhead will be on your left with lots of parking on the right. The trail in is about a 200 yard uphill hike and the track site is on your right. There's all your dinosaur tracks. <laughs> this is cool. This is a pretty great day. <laughs> It is just amazing how many dinosaur tracks there are out here. You can see they're still doing some of the research. They got a bunch of the stuff all chalk lined out. They're doing a pile of research out here. They even have their sign up here. This site's designated for significant paleontology resources. Research is being conducted by authorized personnel. Uh, one thing that they're wanting to do here in the future is to put up an actual building on top of this entire site. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. I believe there is 12 different types of dinosaurs that kind of went through here. Uh, one of these, I think it's this one over here, that old dinosaur cartoon little foot. This is grandpa's tracks here. Big old long neck. <laughs> so there's a bunch of long neck tracks. Uh, another set here of them long necks. There's also these little three toed grass eaters. Uh, there's a bunch of bird prints here. Some we, we just got here, so I don't, don't exactly know where they are. But there's also some four-toed meat eaters out here. And uh, uh, it's just, it's an incredible find. You can see some of these tracks. Like I got a size 10 and a half or 10 shoe. So <laughs> the dinosaurs that were walking around here at one point in time were not, uh, were not little. But... Uh, yeah, we're going to keep exploring around here and see what else we can find. You know, one thing that's amazing with this place is everywhere that you look around, you can see where a dinosaur has uh, has been walking. And there is tracks and little trails and stuff all over the place. And at one point in time, this was kind of like a sandy, silty, maybe even a clay bottom. All these dinosaurs... You know, they all came walking through here, made their impressions, and then just with absolutely perfect conditions, 
uh, it solidified and turned into what it is today, kind of like a bedrock kind of a thing. And uh, man, it is so cool. Unfortunately, uh, with this place though, that there has been quite a bit of uh, vandalism out here. Uh, today, we actually had to stop recording for a little while. Uh, a whole pile of uh, natural resource officers came out here uh, with some of the Salto First Nations and they were kind of given a little uh, demonstration of the place uh, showing the First Nations uh, kind of what's going on up here. Also they just got done like a court case because there was a person who actually cut out one of the tracks and uh, natural resources took him to court and they actually uh, they won the case he spent 30 days in jail and he had to pay a $20,000 fine which is good for him uh, you know places like this uh, the First Nations they have hired uh, several people now to kind of come out and patrol this area uh, to them it's kind of like a sacred place and they're they're really wanting protection here and eventually uh, what they want is just a, a massive steel building or something here uh, to protect it from the rain the weather corrosion uh, and also to uh, stop vandalism but uh, yeah that's part of the reason why I like to come out to places like this too to bring it to uh, come right to the public eye so you can see just how cool this place is uh, unfortunately there is signs of damage from people uh, trying to chip this stuff out and uh, you know unfortunately that stuff happens quite a bit but hopefully uh, you know in future I believe there's talks of uh, a building getting erected up here and if it does I you know I would gladly pay uh, whatever it is $20 fee to come out here underneath a nice steel structure building and uh, check the place out and then that way too uh, this will be around for another however many hundreds of years or thousands or whatever as long as we're still on the earth hopefully this stuff here is kind of protected and uh yeah many many more generations are able to come out here and check this out like we are today so to give you an idea of just kind of what kind of vandalism is happening out here you can see this one dinosaur track here unfortunately someone clearly tried to cut it out there and uh Fortunately for this one here, I believe what happened was as they were trying to cut it out, somebody came up the trail and actually uh, caught them right in the middle of it. So whoever that was, thank you for stopping them and reporting them. And uh, yeah, just one more reason to get more public funding out here and to, uh, to get this place kind of covered up. The site is found in the Carbon Creek Basin and is preserved in sediments that were deposited during the early Cretaceous period, roughly 117 million years ago. The site consists of nearly 1,200 dinosaur tracks from at least 12 different types of dinosaurs, including two dinosaur track types that have not been observed at any other site in the Peace Region and a 30-ton seropod track. It was discovered in 2008 by a local resident who reported the discovery to the Peace Region Paleontology Research Center. Research began on the site in 2016 with a group of paleontologists and local volunteers where they were able to clear 750 square meters of sediment. The future plan is to expose a total of 3,000 square meters that could potentially uncover 5,000 dinosaur footprints.
Alrighty guys, well we came out here and we checked out all the fossils, but uh, it's another scorcher today. So we're heading out of here, making the quick little 200 yard hike back out to the truck. Then we're going to hop in and uh, take the dogs down to the creek and potentially check out another set of fossils. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down in the corner. Leave us a comment or two. Let us know if you come out here and check it out. And if you do, please don't destroy it or do any more damage to it. There's already enough done. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on the next one.